My name is Eve Budira, or you can call me Dearest Eve. So I create faith-based content. So today's topic is very important and it's very close to my heart because I feel like we tend to want to rush the process, you know. Sometimes we are not even obedient to whatever God is calling us to do or whatever God is instructing us to do. So I was reading the book of First Samuel and it talks about a woman called Hannah. So Hannah's issue was that she did not have any children. And I'm just going to read from the book because I just highlighted a very important part. So I'm going to be reading from First Samuel chapter 8. And you know when I was reading this book this is the part that really touched my heart and it says because the Lord had closed Hannah's womb her rival kept provoking her in order to irritate her this went on year after year <sighs> so when I read that specific verse you know verse 8 my heart sunk for Hannah because the other woman was provoking her and probably mocking her telling her that you are not woman enough you are not enough uh, because you cannot bear children for our husband you know but what I love about Hannah is that she went to the temple to pray and this is where it gets even more interesting when Hannah was praying her voice was not even audible and for me it says that her heart was in so much pain that she couldn't even you know voice out her concerns to the Lord Hannah had so much faith in the Lord that she didn't care what other people are saying and this is a problem with us young ladies or just women of this generation we care more about what other people think about us than what God thinks of us I always say that I am who God says I am because he calls me by my name and not by my sin if you have sinned you shouldn't allow the devil to condemn you you shouldn't even condemn yourself the Bible tells us that we should come to the Lord we should confess our sins and he will forgive us and I'm not saying to you you should now go and sin blatantly just because you know that God is gonna forgive you it doesn't work like that so in your purpose you need to persevere in your purpose in your walk with Christ in your walk you know on your journey to achieving the certain goal the specific goal that you are so passionate about on your journey of achieving your dreams on your journey of you know doing great things in this world
rain blessings upon blessings in your life simply because you have faith in him simply because you trust in him so faith is believing in things that you cannot see things that you have not even seen yet things that you you are only hoping for and this is what i want to say to you the reality is that while you are waiting it won't be easy while you are waiting it's gonna be tough while you are waiting people are gonna mock you while you are waiting your rivals will make sure that they irritate you to a point where you feel like giving up so while you are in the waiting while you are in the waiting season daughter of God I need you to understand that you still need to praise God praise him in the hallway praise him like he's already done it for you praise him like you are living the life that you've always been dreaming of praise him in the you know surrendering face in the surrender while you're surrendering to God's timeline praise him never stop praising the lord because when praises go up blessings surely do come down even when it seems like the odds are against you even when it seems like no one is supporting you even when it seems like no one is no one likes you surrender to god's timeline keep on praying and keep on believing that god will do it for you God will do it for you. He says in his word, never will I leave you nor forsake you. So we live in God's promises because his promises are yes and amen. His promises are simple, yes and amen. But what he needs from us is for us to be obedient. When you are obedient to God, he will open doors that no man can shut. He will take you to places where you never thought you you could be he will take you to places where your enemies never thought you could go that is the god that we serve so fight 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 and this is what i always say that you need when when i say fight i mean like pray girl fast and pray trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding never ever ever try to control God's timeline because that is where we get hurt that is where we we get to a point where you know what I want to give up because God is not doing anything that is where the devil actually comes and you know gives you this um evil thoughts that oh I've been fasting I've been praying but nothing is changing in my life well let me tell you something God wants you to surrender. Surrender your life to Him. Surrender your life to God's timeline. And in the process, relax. Relax in His promises. Relax under the shadow of His wings. Relax in the presence of the Lord. Because in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. There is peace that surpasses all understanding. Do you know what that means? When you have peace that surpasses all understanding, it means that nothing bothers you. You are like unbothered, period. You are unbothered whether people mock you, whether people laugh at you, whether people say things about you, you just don't care. Why? Because you know that I am a daughter of the Most High God. So I just need you to take this word, you know, and keep it in your heart. And really just be obedient to the Lord by surrendering to his timeline and he will surely bless you honey you need to make a conscious decision to not react to the mockery you need to understand that what how other people perceive life is not how you should perceive life you know that you're a daughter of God you know that you are saved you've been saved by the blood of Jesus you know that you trust in the living God the creator of the whole universe so why should you be afraid of mere mortals the Bible says that the Lord is my helper the Lord is my helper what will mere mortals do to me so my darling sister while you are praying you need to be clear be specific remember god is your father 
he listens and he will surely answer you. So while you are praying, be specific. What is it exactly that you want? Tell God. Tell God about all your problems. Be real with God. You don't, you don't have to hide anything from him because he already knows everything about you. Remember what the Bible says. He knew you before you were born. He knit you together in your mother's womb. He knows everything about you. He knows your inmost being. That is what the Bible says. And when you pray for your goals, just make sure that it resonates with the kingdom of God. Make sure that it aligns with the values of the kingdom of God. Because as children of God, as daughters of the Most High God, we are here to represent. We're here to represent heaven and nothing else. We are here to be vessels. So as a vessel, you need to make sure that whatever it is that you're planning, it better be to honor God. All the glory needs to go to the Most High God. And I'm saying this because Hannah, when she was praying, she said, God, when you, if you give me this blessing, I will then dedicate it to you. I will make sure that my son worships you for the rest of his life. And that is her promise to God. So whatever it is that you are planning, whatever it is that you you are desiring in your heart, make sure that you rededicate it to God so that He will sustain it for generations and generations to come. Because as children of God, we don't do things for selfish gain. We don't think we don't do things for our own glory. Everything that we do is for the glory of our Father. The reality is that it's gonna be hard, but don't give up. Don't give up. Never give up. Never give up because God will answer you. God will answer you. I have seen him doing miracles in my life. I have seen him taking me out of difficult situations. So never doubt God. Really surrender your life to Christ. Really surrender to his timeline and you will see that the hand of the Lord is upon you. That the hand of the Lord will certainly give you your heart's desires.